Welcome back. Now this week, I caught up with Bayana striker Porsche Mudise at her home in Motlakeng, Ranfontein. The sports star of the year is hot property at the moment, but managed to steal a moment to share with us some memorable experiences. Porsche, thank you so much for coming on to the show. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for inviting me too. Now it's been a crazy year, especially the last couple of months. Are you still almost reeling and, and still getting used to everything that's been happening? Yeah, I think it's it's been mixed motions, you know, we went to Namibia, like you're saying, it's, it's been a crazy year. Uh, we've been preparing so well, you know, going for for, for, for Namibian tournament to, to qualify for, for the World Cup in Canada and we didn't do well. And coming back home, being nominated again to the sports awards and taking the sports awards, you see I'm having... Yeah, man, mixed emotions. Even I'm now. still mad of us <laughs> not qualifying for the World Cup, but at the same time, there's something that really excites me, being the Sports Star of the Year, it, it means a lot to me. Speaking of Sports Star of the Year, when you got nominated, I'm sure you know, you were the fans' favorite from the beginning. They were chanting your name when it got announced. <laughs> did you expect to win it? I did, you know, because I knew, Uti, since I've been playing football, I have a lot of fans that they've been supporting me throughout the entire my career so I knew that they were not gonna let me down but at the same time I had my fears that because I was competing also with the best athletes you know in different uh, uh, sporting code so I, I, I it, it was a 50-50 thing I knew I, I could win I was not sure <laughs> and, and how much of a how much of a big deal is this not just for you but for uh, for women in, in sport and women in football for the sports star of the year to be a female uh, athlete I think I think it's a big deal because you know you you know women women in general in sport they've been not taken very seriously, so I think it will give women in that platform and an opportunity to to feel like we, finally we've been recognized in our country with what we do uh, in our sporting code because we, we we're doing great but uh, I don't think we're getting too much publicity or uh, the support that we need mm -hmm. uh, in, in terms of salary, they are not the same with guys. So I, I think if for, for me taking this is also makes me to, to, to feel great because it, it, it seems like I'm presenting all the women out there and we, we're really saying to the country, if men they could do it, also men they could do it. They, they, we just needed that, 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 that opportunity, you know, for us to, to be recognized. So it is a step in the right direction then? Yes, it is, because probably, you know, me winning this award, a lot of things could change for women who, who wouldn't know, but we're hoping for the best. And now um, everybody knows you've, you've made quite a bit of money from, from, from these awards, and you did say that you wanted to, to share some of that with some charity. Have you decided on exactly how you're gonna, how you're gonna uh, spend the money? Or? Yes, I, I, I did decide how I'm going to spend it because I, I, have, I have a place where I grew up in Soweto. I have a place this side that I felt like I could I could really divide divide my money and share it with a lot of people, not even even one charity, because yeah, there's a lot of people who need help. And I mean, the awards might not end here. You've been nominated for CAF Sportswoman of the Year, which is which is huge. Are, are you even thinking about that at all? Do you, what, what, how do you feel about that? Do you think you could take it? It's, it's been my wish. I think it's been my wish since I played football. I always wanted to be a best player in Africa. <laughs> so I could hang my boots in a stylish way, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But the reality is there are other good players, especially in Nigeria, and they've been doing well, especially in this tournament that we were playing right now in Namibia. So that one, I don't know, really. Because it's not even like people who are voting. I knew if it was people <laughs> voting, they were going to say, Porsche. Yeah. But now it's it's CAF that you have to decide, you know, and I'm just crossing my fingers, you know, to take it. But now you said something interesting. So if you win this award, is that it for you now? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to quit if I win this award. Then I will know even after four years I quit playing Vega. Oh, okay. okay, I was no, successful. I yeah. sure. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not gonna quit now. I still have four years to play. Mm. Yeah. Now, um, you are the only African footballer, male or female, yeah. to score 100 goals for their national team. Tell me that. I mean, that is a ridiculous stat. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 journey, the journey to get to 100 goals. How tough has it been? What has Porsche gone through? I think I, I had my 
upside downs you know like when you drive a car there's always these humps that they slow you down mm. i think I, I had such situations where i could be in the national team not being in the national team other coaches calling me other coaches not calling me so it, it was really disturbing but at the same time i had this aim i had this goal to say no one gonna stop me you know playing football I'll stop myself the day I get tired. I wouldn't allow anyone else to really uh, decide when I have to stop with my career. God gave me this talent to, to show the world that if Posh could play, it means other women also that could do it. It, it was very hectic and and I, I, I keep on training because I had this friend of mine, they call it Utlokhi. We had a training uh, center there. Uh, I remember when I was so fed up with everything and I, I'm, I want to stop playing football. And this guy was like, no, you're not going to stop. I want you to go mm. back and prove people wrong and show them who are you. And, she was, he, and he was always there for me, giving me those extra training sessions. Then I started to have a belief too that, yeah, man, Look, is right. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go out there yeah, and prove people wrong. And I, I was also waiting for my opportunity, you know, to have a new coach and probably they could remember me and give me a call up. Mm -hmm. Then if, if I get that, I'll grab it in both hands. And of course, Vera Powell came on came on board and he decided to give all the players the opportunity and I took my opportunity. Then yeah, I didn't even realize that I was about to score 100 goals. Someone made me realize that, Posh, you need only 15 goals to make it 100. Then I started to go crazy banging those goals. <laughs> and then you went for it. <laughs> then I went for it. Do you, do you think that was motivation though? So if you hadn't known, do you think that maybe, maybe you wouldn't have scored all those goals? I think I was going to score, but for a fact that someone let me no, Guti, push, be aware, Guti, you mm. left with uh, 15, 15 goals to make it 100. Then I, I wanted that 100. I could, I, could 100. Do those. I could keep on going, <laughs> score those goals. And now, Posh, so you've reached your 100 goals, you've won Sports Star of the Year. Do you have any other goals now that you want to reach? Or like, what, what's next? What's next? My, my, my next goal is I still want to achieve more until I stop playing. I still want to contribute to my country, to my to, to, to Banyana Banyana, to my club level. I still want to do a lot. I still I, I wish I could have a power to change women's football, you know, to not only me winning all those things, to other soccer players to to have what they want, to achieve what they want. So for me, I still want to have my academy to create uh, opportunities for those other young girls that are, uh, are growing up. So we could create stars, we could have replacements one day for the national team. Yeah, I just want to do that. Porsche, thank you so much for taking time out to speak to us. And we are so proud of you and good luck for the rest of your career and for the CAF Awards. Yeah, I, I need that good luck. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Yeah, it, it also goes to you guys, you know, giving us that coverage, that support, uh, letting people know about women's football or any other sports of women's women in South Africa to let people aware that they are the a sporting code that women they participate in. I think you giving us that also support and we appreciate. Maybe things will change. Maybe they will. Thank you so much. Thank you.